I received a, a word from the Lord yesterday. That's May 25th, 2023. Um, my apologies to all of you for not writing down the time that I received this word. But before I go any further, the Lord wants me to read from a um, particular passage of scripture. So he's asked me specifically to read from the King James Version today. Um, this is going to be James, James chapter three, starting at verse six, all the way to the end. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and has been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Therefore, therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men which are made after the similitude of God, out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh? Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. This is what the Lord said. Put a guard over your mouth. Say no more. Have you not dug yourself a deep enough ditch? Who are you expecting to pull you out? The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The very flames of hell are on your tongue. When it comes to discernment, you have none. Otherwise, you would have stopped storing up wrath for yourselves by cursing the people I have appointed to speak my words in these last days. Venom pours from your lips like a viper. Out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth speaks and your mouth is full of offense, envy, bitterness, and resentment. Does it do you good to be angry that you are not hearing from me? If you won't even put in the work to let my spirit Restrain your mouth. Or do you not know that one of the nine fruits of my spirit is self-discipline? Where is yours? Where is your restraint? My spirit is the great restrainer, so I ask again, will you be so bold as to declare you are mine if you are not sealed by my spirit? Blind Pharisee, whitewashed tombs, Fruitless trees, doubly dead, shall you teach my anointed without the spirit of truth? Shall I let you enter my kingdom when all you do is curse your brother? You are a murderer at heart, an accuser of the brethren just like your father. If you loved me, you would obey my commands. How can you love me if you don't even love your neighbor? How can you love me when you can't even love your brother? I'll tell you why. You have never been mine. You belong to your father, the devil. That is who you serve. Shall I let you serve me, a murderer at heart? What could you possibly teach? You would lead many astray, causing error and confusion. 
You honor me with your lips, but your hearts are far from me. Shall bitter and sweet water pour from the same spring? How could it? Your words are contaminated. Instead of promoting healing, they make the body sick. Those who cause strife and division will be sick themselves with pestilences and diseases of which there are no cure. Many of you will repent. You will have ears to hear. I will welcome you with open arms if and when you do. But if you will not humble yourselves and put away your pride, I, the Lord your God, will humble you. I will hold you accountable for every idle word you have ever spoken. And as you have shown no mercy, no mercy will be shown to you. I, the Lord, have spoken. As always, I don't expect you to take my word for it. I would encourage you to get down on your hands and knees in a place of humility and ask the Lord for clarification. Ask the Lord for confirmation. Get in his word. He will speak to you there as well. Ask the Lord if this word was coming from him. And if it is, ask him if it applies to you. Ask him if there's any area in your life where you have spoken idle words, where you have not been loving towards your brother. And I'm going to say no more than that.